You know, there's a lot of churches so-called today that's trying to have revival without having it the Bible way. The reason we believe in this kind of music is because it works, and it's God's will in the church today. There are some kinds of music that absolutely will not drive out evil spirits. They will not even make the devil mad. But to quote some scripture to back this up, in 1 Samuel, from the 16th chapter, the Spirit of the Lord had departed from a man named Saul. The anointing of God came upon a prophet, and he said to Saul, Seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp. And it shall come to pass that when the evil spirit is upon thee, that he shall play with his hands, and thou shalt be made well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well. Something else happened? What's happened? Is this the girl that was blind? What happened? Oh, God, give me my sight back. God, give me your sight back. Yes, he did. She's had four operations on her eyes. And how many years have you been blind? It's been about a year. About a year. And suddenly your sight returns? Yes. And God heals you? Yes. Go on down there and shout. Raise your hands and shout, everybody. Praise the Lord. This woman's been totally blind. She's had four operations on her eyes that didn't work. And suddenly... During this music, both of her eyes are open and she is totally healed by God's power. My God, stand to your feet, friends. Raise your hands and let's shout. Let's praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Do you see what I mean? When the power of God is present, when the power of God is present and the Spirit of the Lord is moving, my God, we don't even have to lay hands on the sick. We don't even have to pray because this kind of music, which I call miracle music, will drive the spirits of infirmity out to view. This girl's blindness was caused by an infirm spirit. What drove it out? The same kind of music here tonight that drove the demon spirit out of Saul in 1 Samuel 17.